guys, it's Missy Lynn, and today I'm back with another makeup tutorial. I was inspired by a look that I saw on Pinterest. It was a smoky Arabic eye, which is perfect for nighttime or for the winter time. And I had never created anything like this before, so I thought, hey, why not? I think my subscribers would like it. In this tutorial, I'm going to be featuring the cosmetic line by Evelyn Lozada, Vito Lux. A lot of people have been asking me to review this cosmetic line and to kind of give my honest opinion. So I thought, you know, I would show you guys the quality by using it in the tutorial. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to recreate this look, then stay tuned. Starting off with the white eyeshadow primer, I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid using a synthetic brush and I'm just going to blend that out towards the crease. This will help any eyeshadow colors pop and also prevent the eyeshadow from creasing. Taking this really pretty light tan in my Vita Luxe palette, I'm going to apply this to my crease area which will act as my transition color and I'm using my 217 fluffy blending brush from MAC Cosmetics. Taking some of this white eyeshadow, I'm going to apply it to the highest points of my brows and I'm going to blend downward. I'm using my C brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics, I got it at Target and this is just great for placement of the eyeshadow underneath the brows. Taking some of the orange eyeshadow on a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to apply this color right on top of the tan color that I placed in the crease area as well as the outer V area of the eye. I am going to blend out the eyeshadow onto the brow bone just so it shows a little bit more and then taking a clean blending brush I'm going to buff out any harsh lines. Taking some of this bronzy eyeshadow on a small eyeshadow brush, I'm using one from Sonia Kashuk. I'm just going to apply the eyeshadow all over my eyelid and drag it up into the crease a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with some more of the orange eyeshadow and buff out the colors just so it all blends together. Taking some of this gorgeous purple and black matte eyeshadow on a small angled brush, you're going to mix the two colors together and create two sideway lines that will kind of connect in a V shape. You want the lines to be very straight and very distinctive so move slowly. And then just blend the eyeshadow upwards. You want to stay above the lines, do not go beneath the lines because this will act as your cut crease. Once you're done blending, you can go in with a pencil brush and blend the eyeshadow out a little bit more. And this will just kind of uh, spread out the color. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take some more of that purple eyeshadow on a fluffy blending brush and place that right on top of the black eyeshadow to blend it out a little bit more. As you can see, I went too high up. So what I'm doing now, I'm just going to take some uh, makeup remover wipes and just wipe away some of the color. And I can always go back with a blending brush and blend the eyeshadow out some more. And that way I have the placement just right. Taking this really pretty pink eyeshadow, which is very pigmented, so be sure to use a light hand. Place this color right above the purple and black, that way it has a gradient transitional effect. And then you can go back in with the orange eyeshadow and place the orange eyeshadow right above and on top of the purple and pink eyeshadow. So what you see me doing here is basically adding gel liner to the lines that I drew earlier with the black and purple eyeshadow. And this is just defining the lines and making it a little bit darker and more distinctive. And you have to move very fast because gel liner does dry really fast. And just use a small angle brush to get this done and be sure to blend out the gel liner. Blend it upward towards the black and purple eyeshadow. And then use a fluffy blending brush to blend everything together. Taking the black gel liner, I'm going to drag it onto my lower lash line, but before completing the eyeliner, I need to wipe away any fallout excess eyeshadow. That way, whenever I create my wing, everything is just neat. And then using my small angle brush, this will just help with winging out my eyeliner. So next you're just going to take some more of that white eyeshadow primer and apply it to your lower lash line. And then with this really pretty pinky purple, you're just going to apply it all over your lower lash line. Taking the matte black, you're going to apply it to the outer one third area of the lower lash line. 
And then in the center of your lower lash line, you're just going to apply the orange eyeshadow. And be sure to wipe away any excess fallout. You want everything to be nice and neat before you move on to the face. So now I'm just applying my Dare Real Mascara to my top and bottom lashes. I already applied my False Lashes 747 by Red Cherry. Going in with Forbidden Blush by Vita Lux. This is a gorgeous red blush that is very pigmented, so you need to apply it with a very light hand. That way you don't look like a clown. If you put too much, don't fret. You can easily mute it down by taking a beauty blender sponge or a foundation brush that has leftover foundation and just pat it over the cheek area and this will mute the blush down. For a nice dewy glowy highlight, I'm using Vita Lux Sun Kiss Bronzer and I'm just applying the product with a dual fiber brush to the highest points of my cheeks. Going for the deep vampy lip, I'm taking Talk That Talk Lip Liner from the Rihanna collection and I'm just going to line my lips and then also fill in my lips using this lip liner which is a deep dark berry color and then to complement it I'm going to place Guilty Pleasure Lip Gloss from Vita Lux right on top and this is a berry color as well and it just complements the deep vampy lip and adds a bit of a shine. And before I go, I'm going to add some of the bronzer to the inner tear duct area of the eye just to brighten up the eye look. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Rate and subscribe.